What's up you guys, it's Jason here from RPM and today we're going to be installing our famous silicone intake tubes on this 2022 Pro R. Come over here and check it out, we'll go over the silicone before we get to it. This is our bed to air box silicone tube, it is drastically larger in all aspects. This tube is huge compared to stock. And this is our air box to throttle body tube, it is drastically stronger, no collapsing. Uh, we made this as large as we could. This is the factory in-depth clear box and the factory crankcase breather hookup is there as well. We're using all stainless steel T-bolt clamps and these are a super easy install and it'll be a brief video. All right, for those of you who don't know, the bed intake tube is right off of this piece. So that would be this tube. We're going to break that one loose, but first we're going to come in here. And we're going to take everything out of the inside. We're going to take the seats out, fold the uh, cushions down, seat belts, flop them out of the way, unhook them, and we're going to get access to the firewall. All right, now that we got the inside pretty well taken apart as far as we need, we're gonna move to the bed. It's just a couple of T40s, bam, 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 bam. Pull her out of there. All right, and the only reason we have to remove the bed is because Flutter's decided to put these uh, flat heads facing the wrong direction. They should be facing that way. If that were the case, you wouldn't even have to remove the bed. But you know, Flutter's gonna do Flutter's things. We're gonna take those off. And uh, yeah, this will be quick and easy. Once you've got those three warm gear clamps loosened, we come over here, we take this clamp off. We're gonna remove this hose and back down there is the last clamp. You can actually just take this tube, fold it out of the way and you can get access to that one a little bit easier. This is the old flimsy tube we're gonna be replacing and uh, time to upgrade. All right, a little trick to installing silicone is a little bit of soap and water right in here. And uh, this is the orientation. I like to have the clamps before I put it on. So I will mention that the throttle body side will be the toughest one to get on. There's plenty of soap and water and uh, just force it on. Sometimes with the buddy, you know, you can kind of wiggle it and move it. But our silicone being much more rigid than stock, it is a little bit tougher to put that one on. The rest of them were a breeze. Once you've got the throttle body on, everything else pretty well falls on. What I like to do is I like to tighten the throttle body clamp down. You're going to be about, I don't know, a sixteenth of an inch away from the edge of the silicone. You're going to push, hold it in place, tighten the clamp down. Now, I actually like to pull this one back to put this hose back on. It gives you a little more slack. It makes it a little bit easier. Pull this one back off. Put this hose on there. My hose, my clamp back on. A little soap and water. One thing you do got to do is let this soap and water dry. Get the clamps in place, let them dry. If you try tightening with the clamps down, they, uh, they'll just slide off. So they do need to be dry. I kind of just push and hold everything into place for a minute, let them sit there and get dry, and then I tighten them from there. It's really hot out where we're working, so these will dry quickly. Once you have the clamp about a sixteenth away from the edge of the silicone, you kind of push the silicone inward. Get up here and just start to tighten. There you go. That's a complete install for the throttle body to airbox tube. Now it's time to move on to the bed to airbox tube. So just pull these right off there. This will give you a rough idea of just how much larger our silicone is. It's just freaking gigantic. I mean, just looking down at it, you can see nuts. On our website, we have cutaways, so you can really put in perspective just how much more it is. So again, we'll use soap and water to push it on. And we'll go from there. All right, now we're just going to keep pushing this one up. Right about there, about a sixteenth of an inch from the top of the silicone. We'll hold it there. Right, we're going to come back to the inside one, make sure it's seated. You know it's seated when the silicone is just about to the end of right there. Again, about a sixteenth of an inch away from the edge of the silicone, all the way around. Keep your clamp straight. 
All right, we'll go tighten the other one first. Let this one dry. All right, we're gonna hold this silicone in place or this clamp in place, tighten the silicone. Just like so. All right, guys, so installing the silicone is really just that easy. Be patient, use some soap and water, let it dry when you're done. And uh, at this point, we're just gonna throw it back together. We'll start with the bed and then we will throw the inside back together and kind of let them rip. I'm gonna drop this firewall cover back in. Just latches in right here in three spots. Drop it back, push, keep pressure on it, turn these little knobs in. All right, we'll relatch these seat belts. Make sure they're not twisted. I'm gonna throw the seats in. All right, guys, that's a complete wrap on our silicone install for the Pro R. If you want this stuff, you can pick it up at rpmsxs.com. We've also got other videos on the silicone that kind of goes into depth of the features and kind of an in-depth description on how it's built, why it's better, how much better it is, and the benefits from running it. It's all on our website. Um, you can pick this up, like I said, rpmsxs.com or any of our dealers. And that's a wrap.